Here we have a legacy code base. Working with standard copilot requires maintaining different prompts for various code improvements. We need one prompt for converting hard-coded values to constants, another for replacing loops with functional methods, and a third for optimizing nested loops. Keeping track of all these prompts is difficult. What if we could configure different key bindings for each purpose? Select a piece of code, hit the right key combination, and the correct prompt is automatically used. Today, we're going to integrate Copilot Chat plugin into NeoVim and configure these custom prompts to supercharge our workflow. The Copilot Chat plugin comes with official model and agent support, a chat UI with completions, diffs, and quick fix integration. We'll walk through the complete end to end workflow of integrating this plugin inside NeoVim and setting up custom prompts that will save you hours of work. Let's start by opening NeoVim and navigating to our plugin section. We're using Lazy as our plugin manager for NeoVim. First, we'll add a new Lua file to create and save our configuration for the Copilot Chat plugin. Here, I'm copying the basic configuration from the Lazy plugin manager documentation. As soon as we save this file, the Lazy plugin manager detects the change and begins installing the plugin. Alternatively, we can manually synchronize our plugins using the Lazy sync command. You can see the plugin being downloaded right now. Once installed, the plugin should load automatically, but if not, we can manually load it using the lazy load command. After installation, we need to set up Copilot by running the Copilot setup command. This will prompt us to log in to GitHub and authorize the Copilot plugin. It generates a unique device code. When we hit enter, it opens GitHub's new device confirmation page in our browser. We simply enter the code displayed in NeoVim and authorize the plugin. Once authenticated, we'll see a success message inside NeoVim. Now, when we start typing code, Copilot will automatically make suggestions that we can accept by pressing Tab. Let's open the chat window using the Copilot chat command. This opens a new split panel on the right side. We can use the Copilot chat models command to check all available models that we can use. Instead of manually typing commands each time, let's configure key bindings using the leader key. I've used the letter Z under the leader key for Copilot features. For example, leader plus Z plus E will explain selected code in visual mode. Some commands are configured under normal mode, while others work in visual mode. Let's open a Python project and start using these Copilot features. If I select a line and hit leader plus Z, I can see all the available key bindings. In the chat panel on the right side, hitting GH displays the help section. When we want to use a specific model for a prompt, we can use the dollar token to select the model from the dropdown. Once selected, that particular model will be used for that specific prompt. Similarly, we can use the prompt token for predefined prompts or the context token to provide additional context. Let's select these three lines of code and use the explain feature by hitting leader plus ZE. Notice the predefined user prompt at the top and Copilot processing this prompt below. Copilot explains the code line by line with line numbers, making it easy to understand what's happening. Next, we'll select another set of lines and ask Copilot to optimize this code using leader plus ZO. Copilot processes this request and returns optimized code. You can see Copilot suggesting a change to the last line. To accept this change, we press Ctrl plus Y, and the change is applied to our original file. Now, let's select a few more lines and use leader plus ZR to ask Copilot to review our code. Again, we can accept the suggested changes using Ctrl plus Y. We can also use Ctrl plus ZD to generate documentation for our code, which Copilot does based on the context. The real power comes with custom prompts. Inside our options configuration, we can define our own prompts. Here, I'm defining a new rename prompt that will suggest better variable names. Let's save this configuration and test it on our project. When we select a line with a variable that needs renaming and use our custom prompt, Copilot suggests a better, more descriptive name. This is just one example of how custom prompts can transform your workflow. What makes Copilot chat in NeoVim so powerful is that Unlike standard Copilot, which just completes your code, the chat plugin gives you structured, context-aware assistance with custom workflows that adapt to your specific needs. That's all for today. If you like this video, 
please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what custom prompts you'd like to set up for your workflow. Thank you.